Samsung might be making a huge change with the Galaxy S26 series, and honestly, it's something nobody expected. So here's the deal. The Exynos 2600 is Samsung's new 2 nanometer chip. On paper, this thing looks strong. Early numbers say it can fight the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Sounds great, right? But if you followed Samsung for a while, you already know the rule. Never trust early Exynos benchmarks. Every year the numbers look good, and every year reality hits different. Now the big rumor was that Samsung would use Exynos in most countries for the S26 and S26 Plus, which made a lot of fans upset. People were scared of the usual problems. More heat, worse battery life, lower stability. But hold on, because a new leak just flipped everything. A fresh report says Samsung might only use the Exynos 2600 in South Korea. Yes, just Korea. Not Europe, not Asia, not Africa, not the Middle East, not Latin America. Global markets may still get Snapdragon. If that actually happens, it tells us two things. One, Samsung still doesn't trust their own chip to go worldwide. Or two, Samsung just can't make enough 2 nanometer chips yet. The yield, the number of working chips they get per batch, is still too low to supply the whole world. And honestly, it makes sense. A research team in Korea looked deeper into this, and the problems are kind of the same ones Exynos has had for years. It runs hot during long tasks, there are still security issues deep in the kernel, and the chip production numbers are low. These are the problems that made people trust Snapdragon more. Like, if you're buying a premium phone, you don't want to roll the dice, you want something safe, stable, proven. But Samsung isn't just sitting around. They're trying hard to fix the Exynos reputation. The 2600 has this new thing called a heat pass block, which basically helps heat escape better. Samsung claims it can cut temperatures by up to 30%. That's huge if it's real. They're also sticking with FOWLP packaging, which should help with efficiency. And about that 2 nanometer process? Yield is now around 50%. Still not amazing, but way better than before. So yeah, Samsung is improving, slowly, but improving. But here's the twist almost nobody talks about. Samsung is under a contract. They have a deal saying about 75% of Galaxy S phones must use Snapdragon. If Samsung suddenly starts pushing Exynos everywhere, they could get hit with a massive penalty. And trust me, Samsung does not want to pay that bill. So when you add everything together, the heat issues, the yield problems, the contract with Qualcomm, you start to see why Samsung might keep the Exynos 2600 inside Korea only. If this leak is true, then here's the situation. Korean buyers will be the test group for Exynos 2600. Everyone else, you can relax. You'll probably get the Snapdragon version again. And honestly, that might be the smartest move. Let Samsung test their new chip at home, fix the problems, raise their yield, and then maybe, maybe one day we'll get a global Exynos that people actually want. But for now, Snapdragon wins the world again.